Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solution for Confluence, and as we know that is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video, we are going to set up Confluence single sign-on, with Azure AD application, using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to your Miniorange single sign-on plugin. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on Take a Tour of the Add-on. Now let's proceed with the configuration. Click on Add New IDP. You can select Manual Setup Flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow which we will be covering in this video. Select Azure AD as an IDP. In the Service Provider Metadata window, you can view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So firstly, we are configuring Azure AD application as Identity Provider. Go to the Azure portal and log in with your credentials. Click on View Manage Azure Active Directory. Select App Registration on the left menu and click on New Registration. Enter your application name. You will find the redirect URL in the Service Provider Metadata, in the plugin. Select Manually Configuring the Metadata on your IDP. Copy ACS URL and paste it in the given field. Click on Register. Navigate to Expose an API, in the left menu. You will find the Application ID URL, in the plugin as SP Identity ID, which is used to uniquely identify your service provider. Copy it. Click on Set the Application ID URL. Now replace the existing App ID URL, with the copied SP Entity ID. Click on Save. Now, let's set up Confluence as Service Provider. Go to the Service Provider Metadata window in the plugin, and click on Proceed. Enter the custom IDP name of your choice. IDP metadata can be imported in one of the three ways. Metadata URL, metadata file, or manual setup. We will be going with metadata URL for now. To get the metadata URL, go to the Azure AD application. In the Overview tab, click on the Endpoints option at the top. You will find the Federation metadata document URL here. Copy it and paste it in the given field in the plugin. Click on Save. You can see SAML setting updated message. Go down to the test and get attributes URL. Copy the URL. Go to the incognito window. And in the location bar, paste the copied URL from the plugin, and press Enter. And you can see successful test configuration here. Along with the name ID, which we can't change later by changing the name ID format. Here you will find the display name an email address. You can scroll down to check SAML request and SAML response. Go back to the plugin and click on Proceed. In the User Profile section, you can map the user profile attributes. For the full name attribute, select Display Name from the drop-down. Click on Save and Proceed. From this drop-down, configure the default group that will be used to grant application access to the user. If no group is mapped, then the users are added by default to the Confluence Users group. And from this drop-down, you can choose which user would be assigned the default groups. Click on View Results. And click on Finish. Your IDP is successfully configured. Now, whenever any user will try to access Confluence login page, he will be redirected to Azure AD for authentication after some time. That is, the users will be forced to log in via Azure AD SSO. If you want to keep this behavior, then click on I understand. But if you want to change the behavior and show both, Confluence login page and Azure AD SSO button, then click on sign in settings link. Now, click on auto redirect to IDP option, to disable it. Scroll down, and click on save. Now, Navigate to the Configured IDPs tab from the left menu. You will find all the Configured IDPs here. You can view, test, edit, or delete your configuration here. 
You can also enable or disable SSO for the Azure AD IDP. If you wish to map the name ID format, then go to Edit drop down and select SSO endpoints. Scroll down to Name ID Format field and from the drop down select Name ID Format as email address. Scroll down and click on Save. To test your configuration, scroll down and click on Test Configuration. You can see that the test configuration is successful, an attribute value of name ID is replaced by email address. As your test connection was successful, now you will see SSO button on the Confluence login page. Click on Use Copyright Login button, and you will be redirected to Azure login page for SAML authentication. Now enter Azure AD credentials, and click on Sign in button. You will be successfully logged into Confluence dashboard using Azure AD credentials. Go to the user profile to check the user data. And you can see the user's full name and email ID here. Manyrange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.